The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello once again and welcome to another edition of the A-Team Challenge game for 2016. I'm uh, Chief Meteorologist at NBC2, Robert Van Winkle, and I thank you for being here with us uh, today. We're in our 27th year celebrating academic excellence here in Southwest Florida. The partnership continues between NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, and the Lee County School District. You can watch our games on Comcast Channel 99, and this year we're very excited to announce that our games are being posted on YouTube. Very easy to watch the games this year on the internet. You just go to youtube.com uh, forward slash Lee Schools TV or just do a search for Lee County Public Schools and you'll find our games on the internet on YouTube. Students, we're going to be answering questions today in the subjects of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and a few general knowledge questions. So before we get started, here's a reminder of the rules with the A-Team Challenge. We'll play three rounds up front. The first one's worth five, the second one for 10, and the third one for 20 points. Remember, you're to work individually in these first three rounds. No help from your teammates. If you miss a question in the first three rounds, there's no penalty. However, the other team has a chance to hear the entire question and then respond and possibly steal the point. And in the final exam round, the students will be working with their alternates and wagering as much or as little of their scores as they wish. And one of these two teams will be moving on to the second uh, round of our single elimination competition. 36 high schools from six Southwest Florida counties, and we're just about halfway done uh, with the season this year. Welcome to two fine teams here today to duke it out. This is DeSoto County High School on my right. DeSoto County all decked out in their nice blue shirts there. And Laley High School is on my left. Laley High School, uh, welcome to you as well. So from Laley and from DeSoto, students, are you ready to play the A team? I think you are. I see your heads nodding. Put your hands on your buttons. Here we go. First question for five points. What foreign currency is used in both Rwanda and Switzerland? Alex DeSoto. Euro. No, sorry. Good try. Not the Euro. Lely. Anybody? Trey. Trey? Bitcoin. Say? Bitcoin. <laughs> nope. That's probably true, but that's not what I'm looking for. The franc. The franc is the answer I needed. No points there. What national park contains the famed Old Faithful? Trey, Laley. Yellowstone. That's the geyser I needed to hear. Five points starts us off, Laley. Next for five. Its setting is a rehearsal room inside the old Paris Opera House. It depicts more than a dozen ballet dancers and a few of their mothers. Name this 1870s painting by Impressionist Edgar Degas. Uh, that was called the dance class, the dance class. Next question for five. A plant that grows year after year without replanting is not necessarily described as annual, but as Trey, Laley. Perennial. Yeah, what adjective instead? Perennial is what I want to hear. Five points, Laley. Complete this quote from Shakespeare's Hamlet. Neither a borrower nor a... Emily DeSoto. Lender B. Lender B is correct. Five points gets you on the board, DeSoto. Next for five. Give the word that came to English from Latin for a trumpet-like instrument with no valves played. Trey Laley. Coronet. No, sorry, incorrect. Oliver DeSoto. Bugle. The bugle, that's correct. It has no valves and it's usually played by soldiers. Five points for DeSoto. Next for five. On your screen, take a look. It's a math question. Give as an integer the result of 3 to the 20th power divided by 3 to the 17th power. Math questions have a little more time here. Oliver's in from DeSoto. 3 cubed. 3 cubed is correct. You're exactly right. Good job. And no. Nope. Uh, the judges are saying I, that I cannot accept that. I'm sorry. Um, Robert, Laley. 81. No, and I can't accept 81 either. I need 27. That was my fault. 27. Right? 
it says as an integer. That's right, the judges. That's why we have the judges, so there they are, right over there. <laughs> All right, again, I apologize, but uh, no points, no harm, no foul for either side there. Next question for five. In 1927, what American flew solo and nonstop across the Atlantic Ocean? Trey Lely. Amelia Earhart? No, sorry, incorrect, DeSoto. Uh, Oliver. Lindbergh? Yeah, Lindbergh's the one, and that gets you five points for DeSoto. In math, spell the term used to describe the quantity b squared minus 4ac in a quadratic equation. Trey, Lely. The discriminant? S C R I M I N A T E. No, sorry, incorrect. That was. Close, DeSoto, give me, a, give me an answer there. Emily? D-I-S-C-R-I-M-I-N-A-N-T. That's correct. A-N-T is how it ends. Okay, five points for DeSoto County. There we go. Next question for five. What body of water that forms the northeastern border of Saudi Arabia also separates Saudi Arabia from Trey Lely? The Red Sea. No, sorry, incorrect. Also separates Saudi Arabia from Iran. DeSoto. The Persian Gulf, the Persian Gulf. Next question for five. What word starting with C describes the ancient writing system that used Trey Lely? Cuneiform. That's right, cuneiform. For, they used wedges for individual signs. Five points for Lely. Next for five. Name the popular radio host whose books include The Complete Guide to Money and The Money Guide Revisited. And that radio host was Dave Ramsey. Ramsey. Next question for five. In music, which note is found in both the F major and A flat major chords? Robert Laley. C. Correct, Robert. Good job. C is the right answer. Laley, five points. Next for five, it's another math question. You can look at your screen. Give the volume of a rectangular prism five inches by 12 inches by 20 inches. Alex DeSoto. 1,200. 1,200. You got it. That's a nice straightforward math question. Five points DeSoto. All right. And that signals the end of our first round. And we're going to have a good game here. I can see it already. So can you. Look at the scores. Very tight. DeSoto at 25. Lely at 20. Before we take our first break, let me introduce you to the players from DeSoto County High School. In the first spot is Blaine. Blaine Wallace is a junior this year. Blaine would like to head to FGCU and study health science after high school. Blaine, welcome to you. Next to Blaine is Emily. Emily Beard, also a junior this year. Emily would like to go to Amherst College and study art history. That sounds fine, Emily. Good for you. In the back row is Alex. Alex Reikley is a junior. There he is. Alex would like to go to UCF and study architecture in the future. And rounding out the team is Oliver. Oliver Carey is a junior this year, and Oliver would like to go to UCF also studying computer science. Welcome to Oliver, Alex, Emily, and Blaine. Coaches at DeSoto County High School are Andrew Hagan, Carolyn Cruz, and Larry Bailey. When we come back, I'll introduce you to the Laley High School players, and we'll start our 10-point round. Good job, students. Thank you for a good start. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please 
reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Good game of the A-Team Challenge going on right now. Laley High School versus DeSoto County High. Scores tight. Let's see uh, the student players now at Laley before we start our 10-point round. In the first spot, welcome to Marissa. Marissa Mirator is a senior this year. Marissa is uh, no, no stranger to the A-Team. Welcome back again this year. However, she's off to the University of South Florida uh, to continue her studies after high school. So, Marissa, good luck to you. Uh, in the next spot is Trey. Trey Popoli uh, has a, uh, he's a senior this year, and he would like to go to University of Florida and study uh, public health. Trey, good luck to you. In the back row is Diana. Diana Alice is a senior as well. Diana would like to go to the University of Florida after high school and study uh, computer engineering or electrical engineering. And rounding out the team is Robert, Robert Garcia, a junior this year, and he would like to attend the University of Tennessee and study forensic science. So Robert, Diana, Trey, and Marisa under the coaching of Carrie Sizemore at Laley High School. All right, students, here we go. 10 point round, put your hands on your buzzers, and we're off. In the classic story, what fictional character who married Katrina Von Tassel probably had Emily DeSoto? Ichabod Crane. No, sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. Lately, let me finish the question. Who married Katrina Van Tassel probably had something to do with scaring the daylights out of Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Brom Bones. Yeah, that's, if you'd, if you'd waited a few more seconds, I know you would have got that. That's okay. No harm, no foul. Next question for 10. Give the year of the Battle of Hastings when William the Conqueror took over England. Blaine DeSoto. 1066. Yeah, that's one of those years that just sticks out, doesn't it? 1066 is right. Uh, 10 points, DeSoto. Next for 10. The NASA space probe Dawn was launched to land on and study this celestial object during 2015. It was thought to be a comet by the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi when he discovered it in 1801. Name this largest asteroid, now often considered a dwarf planet, that's named for the Roman goddess of agriculture. Trey, Lely. Series. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, 10 points, Lely. Series. Next for 10. Which social media site founded by David Karp and purchased by Yahoo emphasizes microblogging? Uh, Trey, Lely. Twitter. No, nope, not Twitter. Uh, DeSoto Oliver. Tumblr. Tumblr is right. 10 points for DeSoto. Next is a question uh, science related. You can look at your screen. You'll get a little more time for this. A 10 liter volume of gas at 400 Kelvin has a pressure of P1. By what percentage would P1 increase if the gas were compressed to 6 liters at 300 Kelvin? By what percentage? Um, students again have calculators, paper, pencil, and some extra time for these math and, uh, and or science questions. Okay, Oliver's in. DeSoto. 15%? No, nope, sorry. Good try, Oliver. Laley, just a couple more seconds. Um, 25%. You're on the right track. Okay, next question for 10. Any scientific results considered fraudulent or untrue may be labeled with what four-letter word for trash? Now this one you didn't need to overthink too much. It's just junk, junk science. That's what I was looking for. All right, next question for 10. Which of Grimm's fairy tales has a version in which the title character's tears heal the blind eyes of the prince? Marissa, Laley. Rapunzel. Yeah, that's the one. 10 points for Laley. The inspirations for the famous painting, The Scream, have been said to include a self-portrait during an attack of what phobia? that keeps people from being able to handle large outdoor spaces. Emily DeSoto. Agoraphobia? Agoraphobia is correct, and you're a good, good job there. You didn't even need this, by the way. This was, my, this was my clue, but it was hidden, so I even have a scream tie. Ah! We'll put that away and move on. Next question for 10. The uh, International Space Station, the International Space Station orbits Earth in what fourth layer above Earth's surface, whose first part of its Greek name means heat? 
Robert Lely. Thermosphere. Good job, Robert. I am glad to see somebody got that. We got the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere is the fourth one up. What's the one after that? Exosphere. <laughs> That's all right. You got the points. Ten points for Lely. Next question for ten. What South Dakota town contains the graves of Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok? Alex DeSoto. Rapid City. Good guess. Not it. Lely. Trey, you're in in time. Sioux Falls. Nope. Deadwood. Deadwood, South Dakota. Next question for 10. What drug is taken by many characters in Aldous Huxley's novel Brave New World? Alex DeSoto. LSD. Nope. Laylee? <laughs> Why not? Laylee? Uh, Trey. Heroin. Nope. Soma. Soma. Okay. There you go. Next question. This is a math question and it is really straightforward. Give the basketball shooting percentage of someone who makes 11 baskets in 20 shots. Yep, Trey, Laylee? 55%. You got it. 55%. Pretty easy there. Laylee, 10 points for you. Next question for 10. In the Greek myth of Hades and Persephone, which goddess of the harvest was very sad? Trey, Laylee? Demeter. Demeter, when Persephone was lost. Uh, 10 points, Laylee, for Demeter. Good job. All right, and that signals the end of the second round. Uh, DeSoto, you're still in there, 55 points. Laylee pulled ahead a little bit with 70 now. When we come back after this break, the 20-point round will be on the screen, and we'll see who's going to be moving on, or at least getting close to it. But we'll be right back. Good job, guys. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Good game of the A-Team Challenge. We've got two fine schools duking it out here. DeSoto County has 55 points. Laley High School has 70. But now each question is going to be worth 20 points. So let's get right to it, see how many we can get in this round. Put your hands on your buzzers. 20 points are up for grabs here. The most common members of this group that makes up the majority of Earth's crust all contain aluminum silicate, including albite, anor anorthite, and orthoclase. Name this group of minerals with a hardness of six on the Mohs scale that crystallizes from the magma in igneous rocks. Alex DeSoto. Quartz? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Laylee. Alex Feldspar, Feldspar, okay. Next question for 20. What famed orator and U.S. Senator served as Secretary of State under both John Tyler and Millard Fillmore? Famed orator should have helped you a little bit, maybe. Daniel Webster, Daniel Webster. Next question for 20. Which German symphonic composer also created the ballet The Creatures of Prometheus and the Emperor Piano Concerto? That was Beethoven, Beethoven. Next for 20. An algorithm is a set of steps that can be done over and over again and always yields the same result. Spell... Emily DeSoto. A-L-G-O-R-I-T-H-R-M. No, sorry, incorrect. Laylee, Robert. A-L-G-O-R-I-T-H-M. Yes, that's correct. Now, that's 20 points for Laylee. Next question for 20. What colorful river stretches across Texas, forms part of the border with Oklahoma, bends into Arkansas, and finally ends up in Louisiana? Blaine DeSoto. Red. The Red River is right. Good job, DeSoto. 20 points. Next for 20. What country's men's chess team that won the most recent chess Olympiad was led by Ni Hua Trey Laylee? China. China. And Wei, uh, Wei Yi was the other one. 20 points, Laylee. What American author made it to the top of USA Today's best-selling books list with her novel, Mockingjay? 
Trey, Laylee. Suzanne Collins. Suzanne Collins, 20 points, Laylee. Dictator Hugo Chavez held a stranglehold on what South American country? Uh, Oliver DeSoto. Venezuela. Venezuela, 20 points, DeSoto. In Puccini's opera La Boheme, name the seamstress who dies of tuberculosis. And that was a dramatic death, Mimi, Mimi. Next question for 20 is a math question. Look at your screen and begin working. Michael has 12 coins in his jar, all of which are nickels, dimes, or quarters. He has two more nickels than dimes, and the, co the 12 coins add up to $1.55. How many nickels are in his jar? And again, uh, students have a little more time for these questions, and we provide them with paper and pencil and a calculator. Okay, Oliver, you're in, DeSoto. Five nickels. Good job, Oliver, that's exactly right. Laying that out was half the battle, wasn't it? <laughs> Five nickels, 20 points, DeSoto. Next for 20, name the host of TV's Hollywood Game Night. It's good, you don't know this because you're studying and you're working when it's on. Jane Lynch, Jane Lynch, that's a new show. <laughs> he did know it, but he didn't get in in time. Here it is for 20 points. In music, what note is a perfect fifth above C natural? Oliver DeSoto. G natural? Yeah, Oliver, good job. G is right. 20 points, DeSoto. Next for 20. In England, the paper money worth 10 pounds shows what British scientist, along with his ship, HM uh, Blaine DeSoto. Darwin. Charles Darwin was on the HMS Beagle, 20 points for DeSoto. Next for 20, what is the plural of the word criterion? Diana, Laylee. Criteria. Correct, Diana, that's exactly right, 20 points, Laylee. Next for 20, listen up. In plants, it begins with the forming of a cell plate that becomes a cell wall. In animals, it begins with a ring of astin mi microfilaments that eventually forms a cleavage furrow along which the cells divide. So, name this biological process. Uh, Trey, Lely. Mitosis? No, sorry, incorrect. DeSoto, the rest of the question, the, name the biological process that usually occurs during the late stages of mitosis and creates two daughter cells from the cytoplasm of a single cell. Alex. Telophase? No, sorry, incorrect. Cytokinesis, cytokinesis. Next question for 20. What common blacksmith's tools include ball peen, dead blow, Blaine DeSoto? Hammer. A hammer and the uh, sledge was the other one I was going to give you. 20 points, DeSoto. In 1979, what Central European country added a new canton called Jura? <laughs> Clue here was canton, and the country that uses cantons is Switzerland. All right, no points awarded there. This is going to be very interesting because we've got a tight game that's ended as a tight game. Laylee at 150, DeSoto at 175. Students, when you come back, we will be answering the question in the subject of social studies. Social studies is the final category. Make your wagers, and we'll be back to see who moves on to round two. Don't go away. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a take stock in children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. The A-Team Challenge. 
A major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Welcome back to the conclusion of a good game of the A-Team Challenge here today. DeSoto High School versus Laley High School. You might notice the teams are a little bigger now. The alternates have been working with the uh, main team members on the final exam question. Let me introduce you to those alternates over here on the DeSoto side. First, uh, in the back is Gloria, Gloria Montoya Vasquez. Give us a wave, Gloria. She's a junior. She wants to go to the University of Miami and study pre-med. And closer to me here is Ruby Barajas. Uh, Ruby is a senior this year, and she would like to go to Embry-Riddle here in Florida and study engineering. On the uh, uh, Laley side, we have two alternates as well. Ashley Johnson is in the middle. Thank you, Ashley. She's a, a senior. Florida State University was where she would like to head and study commercial music. And right here closer to me is Brianna. Brianna Marshall is a senior, and she would like to head to the University of Tampa and and study communications. All right, so here is the final exam question in social studies the students have been working on. The good one, this is uh, for Florida, right? Florida National Parks. We want you to name these Florida National Parks other than, of course, the one we all know, which is the Everglades. So the first one is the Barrier Island Park, which shares its name with the Cape, just east of the Kennedy Space Center. The second one, the park near Tampa, named for the Spanish explorer who helped Pizarro conquer the Incas and then come to Florida by his, uh, the way of the Mississippi. And then the final one, we want the park off the coast of Key West that contains Fort Jefferson. It's named for both the lack of fresh water and abundant sea turtles. And uh, if you've never been to that park, you got to go. It's awesome. All right, these are the answers that I need to see. We have uh, Canaveral. Uh, De Soto and the Dry Tortugas. Okay, let's start off uh, as we always do uh, with the team coming in with the least amount of points, which is Laley High School. Laley High School is coming in with 150. Laley, your answers were Cape Canaveral, Cortez, which is not correct, and you got the Dry Tortugas. So you got two out of three, but we can't give you full credit, so we'll have to uh, deem that as a no. You wagered uh, 100, uh, excuse me, you wagered um, 150 points. 150 points, so that takes you down to Zippo. Now, DeSoto County, your answers are Cape Canaveral, and you also answered DeSoto, which is uh, in, uh, uh, that is correct, sorry. The third one there is the third one you got uh, incorrect, so that is also an incorrect for you. However, DeSoto, you wagered 64 points, so that brings you down to 111, and uh, by a pretty good margin there, DeSoto will be moving on. Let's give them a round of applause, DeSoto County High School moves on. Laley High School, you did a great job. Good, good, uh, good sportsmanship here. Let's get up and shake each other's hands. Wish each other a good day. Thanks for watching the A-Team.